Welcome to TGIF 365. In this week's video, we have an unexpected truck repair that ended up costing us about 170 bucks that we didn't need to spend. I hook up a fifth wheel trailer for the first time ever, and after 18 to 20 years, the camper is finally being moved out of the barn. We hit the road, run into one little problem, but it all works out. We make it home. So stay tuned. guys as with everything there's always a snag in your plans so we went out yesterday and worked on the camper a little bit trying to get it ready to move but we had a problem with the truck we turned it off and it didn't want to start back so we ended up having to get the batteries out of the camper and I actually I had another old battery in the back of the truck and they had enough juice I put them together was able to get the truck started but I thought it was the battery, so I took the battery off this morning before I went to work, carried it at lunch, had it checked, and they said uh, the battery was fine, that it's either my starter or maybe a corroded cable. So I'm going to work on that today and see if I can get that going. So it's just always a snag here and there. Okay, let's see what it sounds like. So the first cable we're going to clean off is right there. It looks sort of corroded, so hopefully we clean that off and see if that helps. And we'll clean this one off here at this alternator and uh, we'll see what that does. Alright, so I cleaned all the cables off that didn't help. So, cleaned them off, put them all back on there. If anything, it seems like it made it worse. So, off to the auto parts store to buy a starter. I hope they're less than $200. That's what, uh, a couple of prices I looked at, they were like $215. That's crazy, because this is the starter. Looks like some kind of, I don't know, looks like it come off a golf cart or something. Or a goat cart, it's so small. But anyhow, we'll see what happens with this. Here's what a uh, $170 starter looks like. Yeah, it's not as big as my hand. But anyhow, hopefully it'll do the trick. Let's put it on and see what we got. Alright, here you go. You're going to hear it along with me. Let's see what we got here. Oh, great. Same exact thing. Awesome. So, $170 down the drain, still got the same problem. Maybe I ran the battery down trying to start it a while ago. So let me jump it off and see if that fixes the problem. Three hours later. All right, guys. So all of that work, and let me show you what we ended up doing, or I ended up doing fixing it with the help of a buddy of mine. I added a ground wire right there to come straight over to the battery. That's all I did was added a new ground. Now let's listen to this. Beautiful.
is my first time ever hooking up a fifth wheel, and I hope I've got it right. There's a pin across there. This pin matched up, and I was able to put that in there. So that should be right. Now let's just see if we can get these legs to come up. Before I go any further, I'm going to do a pull test. hooked up one problem I have one problem I have is there's no uh, power cord for the lights so I've got to figure that out Okay, I'm going to take a little break. I think I'm going to have to take this fence down right here. I think that's going to have to happen. I don't know if I can ever make this turn right here between that pump and that fence. Well, there it is. It's out. It is a lot of work. A real dirty truck. All right, campers out. The tires actually look pretty decent under the rim. Thank you. 